Okay, we're going to try a quick and dirty method for setting up the dividing head. I'm going to use a couple of uh, drill rods that are half an inch in diameter. Put them in the T-slot. Now they don't fall into the T-slot. They are too big for this 12 millimeter T-slot. I'm going to bring the dividing head close and snug it up. Bring the T-nuts onto the dividing head. I'm just going to finger tighten them to start with. But as I finger tighten them, I'm going to pull the dividing head close to each of these um, drill rods. That's over about three inches, but I haven't tightened it up for really yet. And that's after tightening the T-nuts. A bit more snug. And there we are folks. Uh, that is three inches of movement along the x-axis with virtually no deviation uh, you know maybe two two tenths three tenths and you can see how the drill rods are just literally drop down into the slots next to the um, dividing head didn't take too long at all uh, and in the future I don't even have to use the indicator uh, it just should automatically set it up very nicely three inches. And one more time I'm going to loosen everything up. Get the T-nuts out, wiggle the whole thing around, get the T-nuts position back in. Roughly speaking, they're pretty loose right now. Well, maybe not that loose. There we are. Pull the front and finger tighten the front. Pull the back and finger tighten the back and a couple of quarter turns here a couple of quarter turns on that side another quarter turn on the front
another quarter turn and interestingly enough the indicator is back at the zero spot well pretty close to I'm going to zero it out again by my from my angle from where I can see it is zeroed and I don't see any significant movement I mean obviously this is not a tense indicator but it seems pretty good that's all